Beats. A much bigger protest was happening out in cyberspace. New York Times, after Seattle, said there's a new superpower in the world. It's called the public. And so really, we're, we're just developing the system whereby people can express. Electropists don't tell them what to say. We just provide a mechanism whereby they can say something. Paul Mobs, known on the net as DJNZ, Electro Hippies, United Kingdom, believes computers can liberate the masses. In late 1999, Electro Hippies claimed more than 400,000 people joined in virtual sit ins during the Seattle protests. The action targets the World Trade Organization's website in an attempt to damage its public relations capacity. They say if you can remember the classic sit-ins of the 60s and 70s, then you probably weren't there. But now hacktivist groups like Electro Hippies have taken the spirit of those times onto the internet. With what's called a virtual sit-in, Masses of people using their home computers can collectively ping the website of a target corporation or institution and stop it from doing business online. For quite a, a few hours during the WTO conference when we had our protest, you couldn't get to the WTO website. Your, your computer would endlessly wait and wait and wait for a response and it never turned up. This isn't an action that's launched by one person cracking a computer. This takes 10,000 or 50,000 people. To make it effective, 10,000 or 50,000 across time zones to make it work. And so we say it's democratic. The electric was started up in the middle of 99. Uh, really as a result of people inquiring that what is possible in, in, in terms of campaigning on the internet. And that's what we're really interested in doing, is extending this to a, a big an audience as possible, particularly people who don't normally get on the internet. Where we have to go with, with computer activism is developing it as a, a real-world thing that ordinary people feel they can take part in. So we really do have a mission to explain what, com what computer-based activism is all about and show that it's relevant to people's everyday lives and that they can take part in it and it does therefore have a worthwhile place in society. Yeah, that's brilliant. Right. Got uh, Earl Grey? Earl Grey, yeah, I got some Earl Grey. The teapot is rarely off the boil in an electro hippie's kitchen. Yeah. Paul's come from London to visit Tim, who's also a member of a local Greens group. The days to be spent brainstorming ideas about the electro hippies' next big online action. Who would you want to lobby? The target is the summit of the Americas in Quebec. Because we've got yeah. we've got the letter writer. Yes. Yeah. And I've got the distributor bandwidth thing, which is going to make the Quebec action work. I've got Brilliant. all that working. Great. So we can do that. Yeah. And then we just talk a bit about what's happening in Quebec and sort of outline what the Quebec conference is all about and what's really the Quebec the Quebec state is doing to make sure people don't get anywhere near the conference and so you know online action is the only viable option if you want to make a protest and a bit about what electric is going to set up with some other groups in in america and canada and really it's just about having a bit of feedback locally about what people want to do locally right to sort of mark the event because we've got this idea of real world anchors the yeah. chickens are, are coming in the house oh yeah should be wait whoosh whoosh go on whoosh i understand whoosh good yeah 